In this procedure, we're talking about melting point. Melting point is used for the identification and or checking the purity of your compound. The first step you need to do is you need to pulverize your sample. The reason why you do this is to make sure that there's no solvent trapped in between your sample and that would give you inaccurate results as you're melting your sample by forming bubbles in the calculator tube. After you sufficiently pack or pulverize your sample, you now need to pack it into a calculator tube. You want to aim to get about two millimeters. And it doesn't take much. Now you should pack it approximately three times by dropping it down the calculator. Packing tube. After you've packed your sample, you now need to insert it into the melting point apparatus. As you can see on the far left, that sample's been packed too much. That's not what we would advise. Also, the sample on the far right is packed too little. It's best to pack your sample about the same level as the capillary tube placed in the middle. Once you've inserted your sample, you, you should refer to this graph. And based off the literature value of your um, sample, sample's melting point, you will set the apparatus to the appropriate setting. Now because our sample melts around 150, we are going to set the apparatus to level 4. Alright, now our, our sample is approximately 10 degrees Celsius below its literature melting point value, so we're going to lower the apparatus to level 2, so that way we can monitor our sample and get a more accurate range of its melting point. We need to make sure that we know the melting point value of the first droplet of liquid and we also need to note the second uh, value of when the sample is completely liquid or melted.